It's the Battle of the Dianas. And we're not just talking one, we're talking three. Although two are from the crown, a formidable contender. Emma Corinne has already won a ton of uh, awards for her portrayal, but she's already out as Elizabeth DeBecky will be stepping into the role at the next season of The Crown, and they just revealed a first look, which is very impressive. Although here comes Kristen Stewart in the other corner. Uh, she's backed by the director who did Jackie with Natalie Portman, which I have to say actually was a pretty darn good movie with an interesting perspective on Jackie Kennedy. So I'm interested about this. I hope this is not like the Nicole Kidman Grace of Monaco movie, which was just ridiculous. I hope it has some real meat to it. Uh, but everyone went nuts about this when they showed it at CinemaCon, so let's take a look at it for ourselves. Kristen Stewart, she and Robert Pattinson, boy, whoo, they are, um, they are both a master class in, uh, you know, improving their image. After, although I have to say, Twilight was recently put on Netflix and did amazing business, so it ain't nothing to be ashamed of, and it launched both their careers. But I think that unlike some other of their contemporaries, they really got the most out of it and uh, quite commendable of how far they've been able to take things. All right, here we go. And I thought Charlie's Angels was pretty good. She was the best thing in it. All right, I'm not saying Kristen Stewart is a great actress. I mean, I'm not crazy. <laughs> but I think she knows her limitations. She knows what she can do. And I think that she, when she's good, she's very good. She was awful in Snow White. I'll never forget it. But she was good in Charlie's Angels. And I, I hear she's, she's good here. So let's see. She has a similar quality to Princess Diana. But I watch The Crown. And this feels a lot like it. And Downton Abbey. Ma'am? They're waiting for you. One line and you guys went crazy over that? Oh, CinemaCon. <laughs> it looked good, but I have to tell you, it looked exactly like the last season of The Cram. So it down to the running around the halls, although they had roller skates and 80s music, which is tough to beat. So, I mean, will I watch it? Of course I will, it's my job. And it looked, you know, I like this stuff, but I feel like somebody got here first and that somebody is the crown and they're already going to be going forward with the story i mean i guess maybe they'll get to the second half of the story before the crown does um but people really like the crown so i think this is a tough i don't know why anybody would would tread the same space as the crown but and special thanks to chanel oh chanel you get in there <laughs> but you know um I hope this does a little bit more in depth. I will say this. I hope because this is a film that singularly focuses on Diana instead of the whole royal family. They get a little more into it. Um, you know, I think that they left some important aspects out of the story in The Crown. And But I thought that The Crown did a really good job of portraying that both Charles and Diana had good and bad qualities, that it was a really difficult situation where neither was the clear-cut hero or villain. And so I hope this movie does the same thing. I liked Jackie a lot, so that's another reason I'm willing to, to give this the benefit of the doubt. But uh, The Crown is so good. All right, what did you think? Share your thoughts down below, subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.